to sense the love of the children of the most high God talk to somebody say we will make it some say we will bounce back one of the things that we lost around COVID was rhythm and routine church people struggle with routine you have this group this week you have another group next week you have this group this week you have another group the other Sunday or other day but we will bounce back it was the devil's idea to break routine because routine is what makes you succeed in whatever you do it brings the incremental strength so when you have when you routinely run right now I'm struggling a bit with my running routine so I'm, I'm, I'm not where I should be but by the grace of God I'm gonna get it again when when you are not on your best routine you, you can exercise today and you will get some gain but if you're not doing it routinely it won't be the same you can pray to gay and you'll be fine but if you don't do it routinely you won't be at the same and Satan hates routine because your success today can be traced to your routine it's what you do routinely that makes you stand out when I routinely write I am better at writing I can write once in a while but when I do it root whatever you do when you practice an instrument you can play it a little bit. I tried to play guitar some years ago. If you gave me guitar right now, I'd play a little bit, not too much. But if I do it routinely, suddenly the skill comes back again. Satan hates routine. When you, you can talk to your children once in a while, but when you routinely have supper with them or something and you talk together, you connect at a different level. Routine, routine, routine. It's critical. It builds us. It makes us who we ought to be. And Satan hates routine. And in this great reset that we're talking about, that 24 months, that two years of COVID, they broke routine at different levels. It is a demonic thing. You must be aware of it so that we can build again. People struggle with routine now. Every Sunday, every Tuesday, every Friday, every morning, every routine, exercise routinely, study routinely, pray routinely. We got to deliberately work at routine. Lift up your right hand and say, Holy Spirit, help me to get back my routine. Say it again, Holy Spirit, help me to get back to my routine. Even if you're not too good at anything, anything you do routinely, you're going to be so much better than others. Talk about the best sports people in the world. You'll, be, you'll tell the one thing they do before they eat breakfast, if it's basketball, so many uh, throwing, or, or uh, if it's football or, or soccer, it's some, some exercises they do routinely until it's part of their second nature. They can do it without thinking about it. It's very important. Your routine is hated by the devil. Sometimes when you're doing routine, you don't feel anything. It feels like you're not just, just hitting the wall. You're not going anywhere. But don't you ever stop your routine. Your routine distinguishes you, makes you who you are. Lift up your right hand again. My routine is coming back is healing is bouncing back in jesus name amen you shall be routinely praying you shall be routinely exercising you shall be routinely in the house of god yes your routine your routine your routine just get if sometimes you think i didn't go to church i didn't feel no 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 it's it's never the same the routine is doing something in you we've not struggled as this the last time the church of god suffered like this was at the end of the second world war you and i were not born yet at the time that's when they lost like they we lost this time but we're trusting god to rebuild there's a generation out there our children have not come back to church as they should and many more children and and the children are struggling the parents are struggling to bring them early to church and and the routine has been broken but by the grace of god we will keep on moving one step at a time we shall recover to the glory of god somebody shout amen
So don't look at what is happening right now. Look by faith to where we are going in the name of Jesus. We are going somewhere by the grace of God. We will prevail. We will bounce back. And we will do great in the presence of the Lord. Somebody say, I hear you. Somebody shout, I hear you.